back to my channel, it's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul for you. Apologies for not uploading in a while, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to get back on track so I'm not going to dwell on excuses because that just bores people. But all that matters now is I'm here and I'm going to be doing clothing haul for you. I have so so much to show you and it's going to take me a while but I'm going to sit down show you what I bought recently. I also have some stationery to show you at the end of this video so if you're into stationery like me then wait until the end and you'll see my cool stationery which I've picked up also. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a thumbs up, it would make my day and also feel free to subscribe down there and I will just get into showing you all the bits and pieces which I have picked up recently. The first brand which I'm going to start off with is Fashion Nova. I picked up a bunch of stuff online and ordered it to my house when I arrived because I wanted a little bit of a refresh in my wardrobe. So I'm going to start off with Fashion Nova first of all. So the first thing which I got is something which I just think everybody needs in their wardrobe. It is so versatile and so easy to style. So this is what it looks like here. It is a black bandeau top basically. It's super stretchy. I got mine in a size small. I maybe should have got a size extra small. This one still fits pretty well and you can just wear this with so many different types of skirts, shorts, jeans, literally anything. It's like the best thing to have in your wardrobe. So that is the first thing which I got from Fashion Nova. Secondly, the next thing I have already worn 101 times to uni. This is a grey stretchy kind of like soft like wool material t-shirt it has like a ribbed pattern to it on here and then the bottom and the sleeves have got like um I don't even know how to describe it but they're kind of um wiggly I don't know how to describe this I just think it's a little bit different from your casual plain everyday t-shirt but it's still really easy to wear on an everyday basis without looking too dressed up and you just look super casual but put together. So that is the second thing which I've got and I've been wearing it so, so much. Next up, I haven't worn this yet just because it's not cold enough in Barcelona yet, but this color I absolutely love. It's this kind of minty, muted green color. It has a high neck to it and long sleeves. It's got the ribbed um, soft wool material going on again, like the previous top. And I can't wait for it to get a little bit cooler in Barcelona so I can wear long sleeve t-shirts and jumper type things like this one. And I don't really own anything this colour so I'm really excited to start wearing this. So next up we have a bodysuit. I completely forgot I bought this actually so thank goodness I've done this video so now I can start wearing this. Um, this is a black plain bodysuit but the top of it is one of those ones that goes straight across which I really like. I love that style of like top and bodysuit. So this one again like the other two has a ribbed kind of pattern to the material and it's one of those bodysuits that are more like a thong at the bottom so you don't get a VPL which is really handy and yeah. I'm excited to wear this and I can't believe I completely forgot about it. Moving on, we have another jumper. This one, again, I haven't worn because it's way too warm here in Barcelona to ever even think about wearing something like this. But I really can't wait to wear this because it's so, so soft. So this is what it looks like here. It's kind of hard to show on camera. But it is a pink mauve pink colour. I don't know what I'm saying. It has a roll down neck, so the ones that look like a scarf kind of around your neck. And it has big puffy soft sleeves and it's just so cosy and thick and soft. So I cannot wait to wear this, it's just a shame it will probably be a while until I can wear this. This is something which I'll definitely be wearing more on a night out because it's more fancy and I am just a casual person in general and I don't really wear fancy stuff during the daytime but this is a shirt kind of style top it's one of the ones that you tie at your waist or just under your chest so there are ties if you can see here and I will cross them over and tie them in the middle and these sleeves on this top look like this they are big kind of flared bell sleeves which are really cool and I will definitely be wearing this on a night out 
and it feels really good quality and I love the pattern. Final thing from Fashion Nova is actually not top but it is a pair of trousers. These are like the thin material trousers that you would maybe wear on your holiday. So they're still appropriate for me to wear in Spain when, when it's still kind of warm. So they look like this. They are this brown colour with a tie at the waist and they are super long and they just keep going. I'm hoping that these fit the length of my legs because they look pretty long and the bottom of them is like, what do you call this? Like bootleg style? So they flare out at the bottom basically and they just look really nice and cool and comfy and casual. So I'm now going to move on to clothing brand number two which is the clothing brand Lup Zona. I have just discovered this brand and I love this brand already and I will definitely be buying from them again because I am so impressed with the quality of their clothes and I can't wait to show you. So I'm going to start off with the most exciting thing in this haul which I was so blown away by. It's the simplest thing you guys but I was so impressed. I just, I can't, I have to show you. It looks like this. It is a white denim skirt. I need to put it through the wash. But it's a white denim skirt but plot twist at the bottom underneath you have a pair of shorts. So the problem of denim skirts riding up and being a bit too revealing is not a problem with this denim skirt and I was just so impressed when I put it on I was so excited I was showing everyone and I want to buy this honestly in like every single color because I love the idea of having a secret pair of shorts underneath so that is the first thing which I wanted to show you it's just so practical number two I'm gonna show you is this top here this is a long sleeved sheer style top which I'll probably wear on a night out with a nice black bralette underneath and it's fairly cropped but like not too cropped and it's got these really pretty white and pastel green flowers all over it. Also from the same brand I got this skirt here, you can probably tell what mood I was in when I was buying all these clothes, I was definitely ready to go on a night out. So this skirt here is super sparkly, it's got rose gold sequins and glitter all over it and I just thought this was so pretty and I don't really own any super fancy skirts here in Barcelona. All my skirts are quite casual like denim skirts or just black skirts so this is a little bit different and I can't wait to wear this because it's just so pretty. Also from the same brand I got this dress which caught my attention because of the colour. Actually this is a playset I think. This is a halter neck style playset so this is what it looks like on the top half and this ties around your neck and then the bottom half looks like this. It kind of looks like a dress because it's so puffy and flary but it's actually a play suit and I just really like the colour and the pattern. It really caught my attention and the back is kind of like an open back style. So the next thing is a dress also. It is a red off the shoulder style dress. This has long sleeves so I won't be wearing it just yet but I definitely will be wearing it when it gets a little bit cooler here. So it's off the shoulder as I said. It is a bodycon style dress. It does look pretty short, so I'm not too sure how often I will wear this or if I might make it into a t-shirt because it's a little bit too short for my liking. Um, but it is really pretty and it feels good quality and I just wish I was a little bit smaller so it wasn't so short on me. I got another red dress. I don't know what I was thinking but these are pretty similar. So this is obviously a little bit darker. It's more of like a fall autumnal colour of red, like a burgundy colour. It has a turtle high neck to it and again also long sleeves and also a bodycon style so I got this. Also I picked up this top here which is like a vest style top. I saw this on Sammy Robinson's Instagram, she was wearing it a couple months ago. So I picked this up, it has a black side to it and then a white side to it and you tie it at your waist and it's just nice and casual and I thought it was a little bit different to the usual style of tops that tie at your waist because 
it had a black and white half to it. Then I picked up a jumper, again I'm not going to be wearing this for a while, but it looked really cool. It has a green section to it, then it goes into a light grey and then it goes into a darker grey and it's just a really nice big oversized jumper which I think would be really nice and easy to style during the winter time so I got this jumper and then finally from Lapzona I got a top for going on a night out with so it's kind of difficult to show but it's like a cropped black bandeau style and then it's got a built-in choker to it so that is what that top looks like. I think you're meant to wear it like this way, not gonna lie. So the choker shows through and then you've got a black bandeau underneath, but it's like connected. And finally, oh wait, oh my gosh, I've got one more thing. I also picked up this like chain choker. I believe they're all interlinked, but there's like a little pearl one and then diamantes and I love myself a choker. Next brand, which I'm gonna show you is Shein. You know me, I always get a couple bits and pieces from Shein every couple months, so the things which I have to show you this month, first of all, are a pair of shorts, which is maybe not appropriate for people back home in the UK, but the pair of shorts which I have here are these grey and thin white striped shorts. They are nice and loose, baggy and casual for wearing round when I'm just like having a casual day, or I can maybe wear these to uni. And I saw these in Pull and Bear, and then I saw them on Shein and they were a lot cheaper, so I picked them up from Shein instead of in Pull and Bear. So that is what they look like, and they're just really comfy and casual, and yeah. Also, I picked up this skirt, which I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna style it, but I thought I would venture out and try something a little bit new. So this is a midi skirt. It is black and white striped, and it's just like super, super casual. It's that kind of like, t-shirt style material, it's got a little bit of stretch to it but not that much and yeah I just felt like I'd maybe try this out wearing it during the daytime to uni or something because it looks really easy and comfy to wear. And then finally from Shein I picked up one last thing and this is a midi dress. Again I was going out of my comfort zone. It looks like this on the top, it's got these um, pleated straps to it and it's just really really casual and really basic and it just looks so comfy and again I felt like maybe going out of my comfort zone and wearing this to uni one day it isn't too long but it also isn't too short that it's inappropriate for university and yeah Spanish people at my university are so stylish so I felt like I needed to up my game and try something a little bit new because honestly they are so effortlessly stylish is the only way to put it so I felt a little bit out of my depth, so I decided to order some stuff that was new and a bit more exciting. And finally, to finish off this haul, we have some stationery stuff. This was sent to me by the brand Mustard, and their stationery is just really cool, really funky, kind of retro. It just looked pretty exciting, so they very kindly sent me some stuff out, which I thought was really helpful since I don't have that much stuff here. So the first thing which they sent me is this here. This is a water bottle. It has, which I think is really cool, it's got like a chart on here so you can see how much you've drank in the day and keep track of all that stuff. It has inside um, the, like a place to put fruit so if you want to flavour your water then you can chuck some lemons, some strawberries, some watermelon if you really wanted. And I just feel like it's a perfect size because it holds a really good amount of water for drinking throughout the day. Then they also sent me this canvas bag here with this funky dinosaur on it saying that's so mustard. And I thought this would be great for, for carrying my shopping in when I do my food shopping. Then they also sent me over some sticky notes, watermelon style sticky notes. They also sent me over some rainbow style sticky notes. And then I also have some cat style sticky notes. Honestly, I'm sorted for sticky notes now. And then we have this cactus audio splitter, so you stick this in to your phone and then you can have two sets of headphones coming out so you can listen to the same music. I'm going to keep this when I'm travelling because I like to watch Netflix and movies with people who I'm travelling with, so this is perfect and it's got a really cool cactus on it as well. I also have some colouring pencils inside a watermelon tube, some 
fruit style washi tape. Then there's this which I was so intrigued by, I've already opened it. This is a unicorn paper clip holder. It's super cool. It's magnetic I believe so you can stick pins and stuff on the side of it but it's also a really cool ornament so this is so cool. These are cat eraser toppers so I can stick these on my pencils and have cat erasers on the top of them. Also I have a cactus pen from Mustard Stationery. These are little page markers but the tops of them are little cats so they stick out the top of your books. I wish they did ones with dogs, that would also make my day. Also along the watermelon theme I have a bag to put my lunch in. And then finally they kindly sent me over some unicorn fairy lights which are definitely going to fit themselves into this room easily. They've got unicorns and rainbows so I'm gonna pop these up as soon as this video is over so yeah. So that's everything which I had to show you in this video, all my clothing pieces and also stationery which I've got. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it then I would love it if you left a thumbs up and if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe as well and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!